As you heard Hal tell us, we should start hearing testimony next week in the Conrad Murray trial. Uh, the opening statements on Tuesday, and then testimony begins. Here to talk about the case and how it could play out, criminal defense attorney Mark Hosshalter and former Los Angeles prosecutor turned defense attorney Anthony Fallon. You, you laugh, Anthony Fallon. <laughs> Anthony Fallon, yes. A lot of people laugh. It's okay. yeah, yeah, that's all right. All right, <laughs> all right so let's talk about what, wh where this thing is going to go. But I want to ask you quickly, because Tom Mesereau, I asked him, uh, what do you think will happen in this case if they try to malign Michael Jackson. He said that is going to be some dicey territory. What do you think about that? Uh, I think they're going to have to a little bit here on this one. What I really think it's going to come down to is the autopsy reports and what the mouth swabs came out and what the stomach content came out. And with this book being published by his brother mm -hmm. saying, hey, he had a drug problem earlier. And now if they go with that defense theory that everyone's been talking about, about him taking the propofol himself, if it's in the stomach, the prosecution is going to have a real problem because they have to be, the prosecution's married to that autopsy report. And but do you think it's a fine line? It certainly is a fine line. Look at Michael Jackson is a beloved person in America. That's reality. And if you go after somebody like that, the line is between talking about whether or not he had a drug problem versus trying to demonize him or make him look bad. Jurors, no matter how fair they say they are, if you go after somebody like Michael Jackson, that strategy can backfire quick. It's interesting you look at the makeup of the jury here, and I'm looking at the breakdown where they ask questions like, are you a Jackson fan? One juror said, I, I, I'm not anymore, but I was. Others said yes. Um, so you have people, I mean, everybody on this case, they know Michael Jackson. And, and how do you erase your previous thoughts about this person? I, I don't think you can, and what you want to do, and as Anthony put I think is very important, you don't want to alienate the jury. And again, I think as a defense attorney, you really want to make a bond with the uh, the jurors and because what you don't want is all of a sudden the jurors not to like you and imprint that dislike on all your witnesses. Mm. So what you really want to do is try to at least bond with them, come out with your theory, a credible theory, and then move forward with that. Does Michael Flanagan have the likability to, to engage with the, uh, with? I've never seen him in trial. What What is he like in a courtroom? Well, I've, I've never done a trial against him when I was a prosecutor and I've never watched him in trial, but I think and it's... And how a, important is that? Excuse me for interrupting. It's, uh, it, it's incredibly important because here's the thing you're going into a trial with a couple of factors one of course everybody knows who Michael Jackson sure. is and the sympathy and the power that a doctor who's supposed to care for him caused his death that's powerful emotion so if you're a defense counsel you need to be likable the prosecution's going to be likable and they get to wear the white hat it's the benefit of being the prosecutor in this case so it's important for any defense lawyer strategically to be pleasant to be likable to have to be somebody that the jurors will like and frankly when we talked about 20 minutes of jury selection yeah. today actually questioning them that wasn't about getting to know the jurors that was about getting them to know the lawyer. Oh, very interesting. That's about what that's the jurors, about. What do you all think of the makeup of the jury? Seven men, five women, and one person I was reading the tweet uh, asked about the ethnicity. One African American. Does that concern you? Does that matter in this case? Uh, I, I don't think it's a, a major factor, as I like to put it. I don't think it's a game changer. I, I think it really comes down to uh, how Flanagan's going to conduct himself and the ability to convey to the jury. Jurors will think with their hearts and rationalize with the law. So if you can connect with them and convince them and have them open and receptive to what you're trying to get across, you're going to be in a much better position and then you can take the law and tell them why to go in your direction. We, we have two really interesting dynamics playing here. You have a celebrity superstar who has passed and you have the medical profession kind of on trial. What this guy should have done, the, the actions that he took in, in those final minutes that we, we read about, whether it was in you know fact or fiction, we don't know because the facts will come out hopefully in this case. What about the dynamic of celebrity versus medical? My, my take on that is pretty clear. One, most jurors like doctors, we like to think of them as a profession and we want to trust them, but a lot of people out there, and I like, from a prosecution standpoint, frankly, seven men, from a male perspective, we don't like going to the doctors. We view going <laughs> to the doctors as a bad thing, and bad things happen there, and I think if, if I'm on the prosecution side, I want to look at that and, and, and play this out that it's the doctor's responsibility to guide the patient. It's the doctor's responsibility to help the patient and not jeopardize the patient. Yeah, we want to trust doctors. We want to trust doctors. And therefore, 
if there's some suspicion about that type of conduct, and I, I think seven men on the jury helps the prosecution. You, you, your partners yeah. are reacting a lot. I'm trying to jump in here as <laughs> much as I can I'm here. Give you of a course last, I am. Uh, as, as always, I'm disagreeing with Anthony. <laughs> Respect the hell out of him, but disagreeing. Uh, no, uh, Anthony's looking at this from a prosecutorial perspective. They're not going to want to go down that road. Wait, wait. They're going to want to get to the defense point saying that he committed the uh, effectively committed suicide by drug overdose and go down that road yeah. or accidentally overdose. That's okay. going to well, be the road. They know this jury, a 30-page questionnaire, gave him a lot of information. Okay. Our special look at the start of the Conrad Murray trial continues. Just a moment.